Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. And I'm Steve Wilkes. And here we are. Uh, <laughs> we're, it took us a little longer this month to get going, but here we are. Uh, and I've got a delicious, big delicious, uh, uh, light-colored ale uh, to take us in through these hot days of summer. Uh, and I'm, uh, Steve, I need your help in, in, uh, in naming this beer because I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, All right. It is a, it started out to be a triple, but then I, I put a little curve in it at the end of it. So anyway, here we go. Let's, I'll right. just tell you how it's brewed and we'll taste it and we'll decide after that. Start off with nine gallons or 34 liters of water uh, at 148 degrees Fahrenheit or 64.4 C. Uh, and into that, I put 12 pounds or 5.4 kilograms of Pilsner malt and two pounds or 900 grams of wheat malt. And I mashed for 148 degrees Fahrenheit or 64.4 C for a little over an hour. I collected my wort and uh, started my boil, a 90 minute boil. At the beginning of this 90 minute boil, I put two ounces or 56 grams of Czech Saz at 2.4% alpha acid, and I thought that was gonna be enough, but then I got to thinking, well, maybe that's not enough. So I put in an additional uh, quarter of an ounce or seven grams of Horizon at 13%. And that's all the hops for the beer. About 30 minutes later into this 90 minute boil, I put one pound or uh, 450 grams of Simplicity candy syrup, and that's the one SRM uh, version. That's the, the light version. And uh, at the end of the boil, I just uh, put it, racked it into my no-chill container. And then the next morning, after it had cooled off overnight, I transferred into a fermenter and then I pitched uh, Imperial Organic Yeast B64 Napoleon. Uh, starting gravity, uh, 1068, final gravity, 1004. So that Napoleon really uh, ate into it. And the ABV is 8.5%. Now the curve. Now I, I think the the uh, the recipe is tripleish, you know, but the Napoleon, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, is more of a kind of a saisonny yeast. So I'm thinking maybe this is a triple saison. <laughs> I don't know. I need your help, uh, Steve, you're in, right, in, sir. In, in tasting well, it. Well, yeah, the the triple. I mean the saison. I'll get this right in a second. <clears throat> the, the the Napoleon is definitely a saison yeast. Okay. So you got that right. And cheers. Cheers. It's delicious. It definitely mm -hmm. has that saison funk going. Ooh. And it's also good. got that kind of sweet, um, you know, kind of big Belgian pale ale thing going too. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Um. Wow. Mm. So do you think it kind of straddles the line between a triple and a saison? Yeah. Uh, but I think, though, if I... I'd have to adjust my, my lighting guys not doing me a good job here. <laughs> <laughs> I need a, Fire your need gaffer. Hire, hire a new guy. <laughs> um, I, would, I, would call, I would call this a saison over a triple, even though and it's because the yeast is just... For my palate, the the magic that the yeast created, I get I get it's more saisonny to me. Mm. Um, it's and, say, it's bigger than a saison is supposed to be. A saison oh, yeah. is supposed to be more of a ses sessionable farmhouse ale. For sure, it definitely this is, is bigger. Big. This is you know eight and a half percent alcohol. <laughs> it, <laughs> so it's not. You have it's to not work small. You have to work a long time on the farm to uh, <laughs> to deserve a pint of this. Uh, but well, it's. You, it, the the malt bill it's 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 kind of grainy, but you said you said it's kind of sweet, which I would go with that as well. Mm -hmm. Although it's it dried out, the Napoleon uh, is said to really you know chew on a lot of the the sugars that uh, you know regular yeast strains or other yeast strains won't, and you know it got down to ten oh four. So yeah, by the numbers it's really dry, but it doesn't taste super dry. No, it doesn't. There's enough, would, there's enough bitterness in there to balance it out. Uh, and then yep. that yeast character uh, is really kind of, is phenolic a good word? I mean, <laughs> kind of peppery yeah. and spicy. Yep, it's all that. I mean, it's, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of like a, a pound puppy. I mean, it's, you, you, don't, you don't really know 
<laughs> where its mom and dad came from. <laughs> but you love it even more. But you love it anyway. <laughs> um, it, uh, it it just to me the 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 yeast character takes precedent over the malt character. Mm-hmm. It, if I'm trying to describe the beer to somebody, yeah, um, it is delicious. You're right. If you drink a couple of these at lunch, your farm work is over with. So <laughs> except you forget for, about except, bailing in except the for hay. maybe having a roll in the hay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. What what knockers? <laughs> Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Roll in um, the hay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but the beer is delicious. Oh, I know what I was going to say is uh, if you could if you if you kept some of this hidden away in a few bottles over time, I think it would dry out a lot more. Huh? Personally. The Napoleon will just it's a beast. I mean it's just it's just a an absolute beast and it will eat I I would put this on like an old battleship just if you wanted to <laughs> like get rid of it, you know, just just douse it in Napoleon for ten, fifteen years and it'll be gone. I'm sure. Well this is in the keg and it's under refrigeration, so you know, it, I think it's pretty stable. Yeah, and it's not gonna. Well, it's not gonna last either. <laughs> and and you drink enough of this, and you want to put your hand in your in your uh, coat like this. Yeah, and that's right. Be short. That's right. <laughs> Wear funny hats. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's a delicious beer, and I, I wish we could share the same room together because we would make short work of this. One day, one day. Mm-hmm. Well, thank you, Steve. I appreciate it. I hope everything is going well at stevesbrewshop.com. Doing well, doing well, and uh, we'll just talk to you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, I'm everybody. Already try, try this. This is a, is a nice, especially since it's no chill, super simple, uh, yeah. delicious, and you got to love uh, that Imperial uh, Napoleon. Mm. I'm getting that real, I'm getting that kind of Orvalish sort of Ooh. flavor toward the end. It's, mm. it's really, it's a very complex beer. Yum. All right, yeah. back to work. Back to work. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy brewing. Cheers. Come and visit us online. At basicbrewing.com, you can find archive lists of our audio and video podcasts on home brewing. You can also find our DVDs and our brewer's logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. If you're in Fayetteville, Arkansas, stop by Steve's Brew Shop or find him online at stevesbrewshop.com. It is big and sweet and voluptuous or luscious like a triple is. And yet, well, triples, you know, they're kind of like... It's the May West of beers. Well, they're... they're, 